it's Kitty and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very exciting video, a long awaited video or more like a video I haven't done in a really long time. Yes, today is another empties video, a video where I go through my trash, show you everything I have used up, tell you if I love it, if I hate it, if I think it's a terrible product, give you my whole mini review on these things. And I'm super excited to be filming this for you today just because I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time. I think it's the last one I did was in August. So yeah, it's been a while and I'm super excited to be filming one of these like I already said. And yes, I am wearing my KK and Baby J shirt because I love them. Favorite vloggers on the planet, in the world, in the country, ever. I have no idea if this is gonna be my last empties video of 2017 or if I'm gonna do another one. I have no idea. So if this is my last empties video of 2017, happy end of 2017. If not, Happy New Year, or if not that, Merry Christmas, and if not that, then Happy Day. I have no idea when I'm posting this, clearly. So yeah, okay, anyways, I'm gonna get right into this empties video and go through my trash, so if you wanna see what I've used up, these past couple months since August. If you're in the right place, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I used up are these Clean Clear Night Relaxing Wipes. This is what they look like and everything. They're just these blue and purple wipes. I really love these wipes. I think they are very nice. I always love these. I use these more when I travel, especially like in school, because I don't want to use like my expensive skincare items, if you know what I mean. And I use these to take off my makeup every night. It's like, honestly, the lazy girl's guide for taking off your makeup I still wash my face of course but like this is just so easy to get all your makeup off in one stripe and especially like in school I tend to wear less makeup like foundation concealer a little bit of eyeshadow maybe some mascara and lips and that's pretty much all I do so this is very easy to get off but either way I could wear the heaviest raccoon makeup or I could wear like literally the simplest makeup and this takes it off heavy or light takes it all off I love these like I've said probably 50 times now they're amazing what are you purchase I've repurchased them so many times I usually buy two at a time when I'm in school just so I don't have to like be buying them every month you know what I mean so the next thing I used up is the cucumber melon Shea and Vitamin Shower Gel from Bath and Body Works. It just looks like that. Sorry, the lighting's weird. I have to do the typical beauty guru thing. Cucumber Melon, I love this so much. This reminds me of my childhood because I use this a lot in my youth, like when I was a child. I'm 22 now, like it wasn't very long ago where I was a child. I don't know, it kind of feels like it was ages ago, but anyways, I love this. It smells so good. It just has a fresh cucumber scent and I love getting this when they have their flashback sale at Bath and Body Works. Which which is usually in the summer. I usually get a couple of these, but this smells just very fresh, cucumbery. Reminds me of my childhood, like I said. So yes, I would repurchase this when they have another flashback sale. I also used up another shower gel. This is the brown sugar and fig shower gel from Bath and Body Works. It just looks like this. I don't know if you can see that well, but this is the brown sugar and fig, which is one of my favorites also. This just smells like sugar, figness. It has notes of fresh fig, coconut milk, and caramel brown sugar which I totally get I totally get that scent and everything but it just smells really good and it smells like sweet without being too much and I just love this shower gel I've repurchased this so many times already and I would definitely purchase it a hundred times more because it is my favorite so the next thing I used up is this eyeliner from Maybelline this is the Maybelline lasting drama waterproof gel pencil this one is in nude I've used one from Rimmel before. I think I've used one from Bare Minerals and I liked this eye pencil. I think it was nice. I'm not really picky when I when I pick out my eyeliners. I did find this one was very nice and kind of creamy which I really liked. I find the Rimmel one can be more drier but I did really like this and I would think about repurchasing and everything. I definitely should pick up one soon but maybe I'll try a different brand see if there's another one that maybe is cheaper. I would repurchase but I don't know if I would like right now you know what I mean? So the next thing I used up is from 12 Benefits. This is the Instant Hair Relief Treatment. This is supposed to seal, color, smooth, frizz, repair, damage, prevents split ends, moisturizes dry hair, strengthens fragile hair, prevents flat iron damage, protects from chlorine, wind, and sun damage, adds shine, softness, and silky finish, protects from the blow dry, improves texture and magnivity. I think that's what that means. Anti-age formula keeps hair youthful and it's instant 
Instantly Healthy Hair Treatment. Like I said, this is from 12 Benefits. It just looks like this. I got this when I subscribed to Birchbox with Birchbox points and everything. Now, I don't love this product. I I just don't. Like, I prefer It's a 10 better than this, and I also prefer my Briogeo, which is the one I'm using currently better than this. Now, I don't think this was terrible, not at all, but I definitely had to work with this. This did make, make my hair feel like straw if I sprayed it directly on wet hair or just directly on my hair in general. So I definitely had to form my own technique with this. I had to spray this onto my brush, then go into my hair with it. And I had to make sure to distribute it and like just make sure it was fully in there because if it wasn't, then it would literally just not be good. It would literally just make my hair feel like straw, like I've already said. It was not cute. It was not fun for my hair to feel like straw. So I wouldn't repurchase this. Do I think it's terrible? No, just wasn't for me. So the next thing I used up is the Herbal Essence Body Envy Volumizing Shampoo, which looks like this. I really like this shampoo. I think it's very nice and everything. I, it smells really good. It smells like, I think, oranges. It just, it smells really good, okay? And it was a very nice shampoo. I thought it just worked very well. Thought it was nice. Thought it worked well with my hair. Gave my hair some body. And I do tend to have pretty thick hair. Now I am on Accutane right now, so so I like to use more hydrating products even for my hair like I like to be hydrated all over now because my skin is dry and I find that my hair is getting dry so I need to use more like moisturizing kind of shampoos so I will not be repurchasing this anytime soon okay so the next thing I used up happens to also be another sample shampoo and this is from herbal essence and this is the herbal essence Biro Renew argan oil of Morocco shampoo I have two of these right here they just look like that and everything. I also am using this in my shower currently and I love these. Now I know I just said that I have to use moisturizing shampoos and I feel like this does give me moisture to my hair. I find that it keeps my hair moisturized. I'm feeling great which I really love about this. These have to be my new favorite shampoos. I love herbal essence shampoos. I've been using them for years. I tend to to go between Pantene and Herbal Essence, but I feel like now I'm preferring Herbal Essence. I don't know why, but I am. And I really like these. I currently have one in my shower. I have like a giant one in my shower, so I don't need to repurchase one anytime soon. But when I do have to repurchase one, I would be happy to because I love these. They are so great, would repurchase. Okay, so I had two things in my shower that I kind of forgot about until now, so I'm gonna mention these before I forget. So the first thing is also a shampoo, and this is from Birchbox when I was still subscribed to them, of course. And this is the Mamo Shampoo, and this is by Davines. This is kind of what it looks like, if you can see. And so this is supposed to be a moisturizing shampoo for drier, dehydrated hair. But anyways, this is supposed to be a very moisturizing shampoo, which I can totally agree with. It was very, very moisturizing, which is what I actually loved about it. I thought it was very moisturizing, very nice, loved it. Would I repurchase? Probably not. It was nice to try, but I wouldn't probably repurchase it for myself since I do love herbal essence and stuff like that. Then I have a face product. This is from Perfectly Posh. This is the Perfectly po Posh Look Natural Whole Lava Love Ash good it gets this is the volcanic volcanic i have no idea how you say that ash exfoliator it is actually black it's like leaking on my hand right now so i'm gonna try to like say this as fast as i can this is what it looks like but i'm gonna try to have close-ups of everything just so you can see it kind of up close and personal it is literally like leaking even though it's empty i think just little particles are already inside it so they're kind of everywhere and this is black i do not want to get this on any of my clothes so yeah i did enjoy this this. It honestly had the grossest smell. It smelled like black licorice and I'm sorry, but I don't like the smell of that. It really just made my skin feel so smooth, but I would not repurchase this um, just because, I don't know, I'm not like I like their products, but I don't think I would repurchase them. I don't know why, but I do like my St. Ives better. Okay, so the next thing I used up is two foil packets. These are both from Orbe. These are the, so this is the shampoo and conditioner for brilliance and shine. I really liked these when I used them. I thought they were just very nice. It was a nice shampoo. It really just cleaned my hair very well, and it also was just very nourishing for my hair. I found these to just be very nice, and I really liked using them, and whatever purchase Orbit is pretty pricey up there so 
probably not but I did enjoy these while I had them I just wouldn't repurchase I just don't really see myself repurchasing these because Orbe is hella expensive so the next thing I used up is from Pantene it's another shampoo I don't know why I have so many shampoos in here but it's weird anyway so this is the Pantene Pro V hydration this is the dream care line I believe and it just looks like that I do like this I did think it was nice um it's just very nourishing as well just a nice nourishing shampoo would I repurchase probably not since I am a Herbal Essence fan but I do like the Pantene shampoos as well I just probably wouldn't repurchase this one maybe not yet but maybe someday so next thing I used up is from Glam Glow I actually just used this up last night this is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask I've tried the I think the um the cleanser before and I liked that a lot so yeah this is from Glam Glow and this is their like I said this is their thirsty mud treatment mask you just leave this on for 10 to 20 minutes and it's supposed to moisturize your skin which I love because I have dry skin right now because of Accutane I put this on last night I literally like lathered my face in this like it's almost like I was putting oil all over my face and I just let that soak up so much it just felt so nice my skin was super soft after and my skin just felt so nourished after would I repurchase this probably not since glam glow is hella expensive again just like Orbe so next thing I used up is from fave 4 and this is the up it up for the air air dry cream this is supposed to give your hair like a wave to it and you use this like after the shower you just put it in your hair you're supposed to get like tousled texture effortless waves casual undone style and a relaxed natural control I love this I think it's such an amazing like product I love this so much like you don't even know this is what the packaging looks like and everything I love this like it is so amazing it just feels so nourishing on your hair when I repurchase this maybe actually I'm gonna say maybe this time because I've been saving saying either yeah definitely or no yeah I think I might repurchase this I really enjoyed it oh and I have another clean clear night relaxing wipe had no idea like I said I love these okay so next thing I have two foundations that I used up a couple months ago they're in a bag because I split them like I cut them open like a surgeon dr. Katie at your service um so I have the clean and clear clean matte BB cream and then I also have the L'Oreal infallible total cover I used up these two foundations a couple months ago split them open like I said and everything and I'll talk about them each by each clean and clear BB cream. I love that BB cream. I think it's super amazing. I honestly love it. Would I repurchase? Probably not just because I don't know. I'm not interested in having a BB cream right now, even though that is kind of like a, it's a pretty good coverage foundation. Like I feels when I do repurchase, I will probably repurchase in a shade lighter because I found that I did have to mix this sometimes. And as for the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover, since I do have dry skin right now, I will not be repurchasing this I just find that like this is more matte and I know I think it might be a demi matte finish but either way it's like more matte so it's not gonna work for my skin right now I did like this foundation I used it like pretty much up to August from January or February I think I forget which one but like I loved this foundation I thought it was very heavy very nice coverage it was very lightweight on my skin and it just felt nice like especially when I had oily like especially when I had that combo oily skin but right now this just is an ideal foundation for me like it just wouldn't work okay now I'm gonna try wrap and fire these because I'm taking way too long okay so the next thing I used up is from Aven this is the hydrants um I believe it's like a cream hydrants or cream hydrants whatever you want to call it. this is like a gel moisturizer but it was very moisturizing it almost felt like putting water on my skin which I actually really loved because it really hydrated my skin this was still when I was like combination but I do generally get a little drier around my nose like even when I was like combination oily and I did really like this when I repurchased this probably not but I did really enjoy it I have another one of those Pantene dream care shampoos the hydrants one then I have a another body wash the hour gel whatever you 
you want to call it. This is the Fiji Pineapple Palm. This just has such a tropical scent, which I really love. I think it just smells very good. It has a tropical scent, which I love. And it just smells like summer, which I'm missing. It's snowing outside, which I live in New York. That's typical. And I love living in New York, but sometimes I wish I could just go to the beach and just be like warm and cuddly. That's not my life. It smells very good, very tropical. Love it. Would repurchase when they have this out in summer again. Okay, so next thing I used up is from L'Oreal, and this is the L'Oreal Luminous Lash Paradise. This kind of blew up over the summer. Everybody was loving this mascara, and I love this too. I find that it dries up pretty quickly, but I do find it to be a very nice mascara. I have like still some in there, but it's clumped up and it's just like not ideal and everything, and it's dried out, but it has a very nice wand. You can really get in your lashes, really volumize them, and just get them very nice, and that's what I love about it. it. has a very nice wand. It's very easy to work with, and I just really love this mascara. I would for sure like buy this, especially over what it's supposed to be a dupe for. Okay, so next thing I also just used up, and this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Enigma. What I love about these is they last such a long time. It looks like this, and then you have like the little wand to apply it with. This is what it looks like and everything, and it's just like dried up, but I just find that it's old, so it's not really like making my eyeshadow last as long as I would like it to, but I do find this to be very nice. I do really love this. I think it is such a nice eye primer. I think it just works really well, and I love how this one is tinted, so it kind of gets rid of any discoloration you have on your eyelids, and I would definitely would recommend this. This is $20, but I definitely think it's worth it. It lasts you such a long time, but I'm going to use up my other eye primers and maybe go for a drugstore run soon. Next thing I used up is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I did like this, but I just find there are so many drugstore setting sprays that work better than this, and honestly work the same, so I don't find this is totally worth it anymore. And I wouldn't buy like a full size of this ever. I think I got this as a point perk at Sephora or something. So next thing I used up is also the Urban Decay Setting Spray, and this is Urban Decay Quick Fix. I've had two of these. The other sample size I had was bigger than this, but anyways, I really like this. This is, this is the Hydro Charged Complexion Spray. So this, is kind, so this is kind of like Smashbox Primer Water and also like the setting spray from Too Faced, the peach one I think it is, or is it the coconut one? I forget which one it is. I forget even what the name is of it, but it's kind of like that one. I really like this. It's supposed to just nourish your skin, which I really love. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know, but probably not. But I did really enjoy it for the time I had it. So the next thing I used up is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Powder. This is a compact powder that I used up. I loved this powder. It was honestly my favorite, like, matte setting powder. My favorite, my favorite finishing powder, especially high-end. I don't really try high-end powders all too much because I find that it's Especially pressed powders, you go through so fast, so I don't really like to try those all too much. But honestly, I would think about like repurchasing this. I thought this was just such a nice powder. It really blurred out my skin. It also just was great, especially for that under eyes. I tended to use this for the most, but I did really enjoy this and I would think about repurchasing because it was so nice. Then I used up another mascara. This is from Lancome and this is the Hypnose Drama Mascara. I love this. It the wand looks like this. It's just a nice like interesting wand. It really gives you volume and length and everything like that. I don't think I would repurchase this just because Lancome is so expensive, but it was a nice mascara to try and if, it were, if I were to get it like in a set or if I were to get it like in like some type of subscription, I wouldn't be complaining. So next thing I used up is from Benefit. This is the Boyne Airbrush Concealer and I had mine in number two. This is what it looks looks like. I don't know if that's upside down. I can't see. And yeah, I used this completely up. I love this. Um, not necessarily for under my eyes, but I loved it for concealing like pimples and everything. And just for an extra cover up, I loved it for that. I thought it was amazing for that. Would I repurchase this? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not actually sure, but I did think it was very nice and I thought it was such a nice concealer. So another foundation I used up is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I got 
that this in another subscription as well. It's completely gone. I did really enjoy this. I got, I think maybe more, I think I got around four to five uses out of this, which I think is very, very good. I thought that was amazing that I got so many uses out of it. I was so happy about that. It was a nice medium full coverage foundation, which I really liked. It was probably more medium, but it did blend very easily. This is a stick foundation, if you didn't know. It was just really easy to use and I really liked it. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. Maybe in the future, but as of right now, no. But you never know. Maybe I will go out and actually buy this. And if you're wondering, I had the shade Shell. So next thing I used up is from Dr. Jart. And this is the Dr. Jart Water Fuse Hy Ultimate Hydro Gel. So this is like a hydro gel moisturizer. And this is supposed to deliver long lasting moisture in the skin. It's supposed to visibly brighten and protect it and everything like that. And I love this. It was just a very nice gel moisturizer. It just felt very nice on my face and it hydrated my skin without making it feel like too like it didn't like mattify or anything like that which I love because even when I have like combo oily skin I don't like it to super dry out my skin or make my skin super bad because it's just not my style that's just not who I am like that's just not what I want and yeah I thought it was very nice what I purchased probably maybe I maybe I did like it but probably not anytime soon so next thing I used up is another mascara wow I have a lot of mascara shampoos and foundations interesting this is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara this was is the mascara that they had that commercial on it just looks like that that's what the brush looks like it's just a very nice brush really easy getting your lashes I found that it was very lengthening it had a tiny bit of volume it wasn't my favorite Maybelline mascara I've ever tried like it wasn't as amazing as like they said on the commercial but I did find that it was very nice and and I don't think I would repurchase this I don't know why I just I just don't find that I would repurchase this I just it wasn't my total favorite, if you know what I mean. So another foundation I used up is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is a demi matte finish foundation. It just looks like this. I use this completely up and everything. And I loved this foundation, especially when I was combo oily. This is one of my favorite foundations. It really kept me matte. It really stayed on a long time. And it just was very nice on my face and everything like that. I do have first impressions on a couple of these foundations. I will try to list all the products down below and have like the information about them like if there's first impressions and stuff just so you can ha see the correlating videos yeah but I did really like this foundation I found it was very nice it found that it was great on my skin I found that it just it was great like it was great especially when I had that combo oily skin but would I repurchase not anytime soon but maybe after Accutane my skin's back to normal I will try this again so next thing I used up is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment I love this I thought it was very nice on my lips I thought it was just a very nice like lip treatment and everything. It really made my lips glow, but also hydrated them. Would I repurchase? Probably not. I'm actually using the the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask right now because I have super dry lips and I'm loving that. So I don't really find the need to repurchase this. So the next thing I used up, I actually have a few foil packets. So the first one is from Dermalogica. This is the Pre-Cleanse Balm from Dermalogica. I thought this was very nice, but like I don't, I'm not like totally love it and I I didn't find that it really took off all my makeup. I didn't really find that it like really cleansed everything out of my skin, but I did think it was nice for what it is and probably wouldn't repurchase. Then I also used the Botanics Organic Facial Oil. I found this to be very nourishing and just very nice on my skin, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this. I don't know. It's just not in the cards for me. It just isn't really my thing, but if you're into this kind of thing, maybe you would want to try this out. It was nourishing and nice, but just not something I'm going to repurchase. So the next thing I used up is a primer from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer. This is from Wet n Wild like I said and I did think this was a pretty nice primer. It's especially good if you have oily and combo oily skin. Would I use it with dry skin? Probably not so I won't be repurchasing this but it is a very nice primer because you can get it for very affordable at the drugstore and I just think that is always nice. So maybe after Actine if my skin is oily I will try this out again but not now. Then I used up the Supergroup Pam Cream. This smelled like sea 
buckle harm, which I really like. That's uh, oftentimes in hair products, which I love. And I did that find this was a very nice like moisturizer, especially for my hands. And it smelled really nice, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this. I have a lot of Bath and Body Works, like a lot of like hand creams. So probably won't be repurchasing this, but it was nice. Then I also used up a primer from Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Light. This was my favorite primer of all time, especially with like combination oily skin. I don't think this would work down for me since it is a matte primer, but I did think it was very nice. And if I have combination, and if I have combination oily skin after Accutane, I will definitely have to pick this up. I I just will. So next I used up a concealer. This is the NYX HD Photogen Concealer. I had mine in Fair, and which is surprising because usually I go for light, but light was just too yellow. But yeah, this is a very nice concealer. Would I repurchase? Probably not. I wanted to try about it because I've always heard things about it and I've always heard like good things about it. But I wasn't really a fan of this. I found it was just too light of coverage for me. I just wasn't a total fan of it. Honestly, nothing really compares to Tarte Shape Tape. Like honestly, like the only concealer I can really see comparing with it is the Wet Wild Photo Focus Concealers, which is what I have under my eyes today. But hardly any concealers really compare to that. But I did like it. I just didn't love it. Like I didn't find that it was something I would repurchase. Then I have one more hair product from Evo and this is the Evo Lockdown Smoothing Treatment. This is something I use after shower. It's a very thick like um lotion type thing. I would just distribute through my hair and just put it through my hair to kind of like you know make sure I don't have any flyaways and make sure I don't have any frizz my hair dries and I love this it smelled decent and good I feel like it had some sort of scent yeah like some sort of scent I can't pick up what that is but it had a very nice scent and I just really like it I think it is such a nice like you know hair product I definitely would think about repurchasing I don't know if I actually will but it's definitely something I'm keeping in my mind that's just kind of what it looks like and yeah I really enjoyed that next I have have a brow product. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. It just looks like this. It's definitely comparable to the Benefit Gimme Brow. I know the Benefit Gimme Brow has been pulled from shelves because people are stupid enough to put it on their eyes. I'm sorry, but if you do that, you're that's dumb. I would definitely not purchase this. So lastly, I have two lip products, which I plan on getting through very fast. So the first one is from Benefit. This is the Lolly Bomb. I got this in a set for Christmas a couple of years ago. This is just what it looks like. It's just a nice fun pink color and I'm all out of it. What I going to purchase this? Maybe sometime down the road, but right now I just don't really plan on purchasing this. It is very moisturizing and it has a nice lip tint, which I love for being like in class. I just put on something simple. And I have one more of these left. My favorite is actually Benabom. So if I was going to repurchase one right now, I'd definitely go with Benabom. So then the last lip product and the last product I have used up is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. Let me just tell you, I love this. I am obsessed with this. Probably one of my favorite lip gloss next to Buxom and next to ColourPop. I feel like this is my one of my top three lip glosses. Actually, might be my favorite. I had the color Pure Peach. I thought this was such a just pretty lip gloss. It really hydrated my lips all day and I feel like this is the one lip product I would repurchase right now. I just found this to be very very nice. Very nice lip gloss. It has such cute packaging. It smells like peaches. It smells good. Some people hate that smell but I love it. I might have to pick one up because this is like literally my favorite lip gloss ever. So yeah that is everything that I used up. All my empties, all my garbage, everything like that. But yeah thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that kind of fun stuff and thank you so much for watching ha happy holidays or maybe happy new year who knows thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye empty's videos are like the longest videos of your life